Hi everyone, I am Rohini Chaudhary. Welcome back to the channel Apitech. Today we will learn about how to make a calculator program in Java in TouchSpring, right? Okay. So here I am referring a Apitech blog post to refer the code. You can find the link of this post inside our comment section. So let's un understand the code first. So here's my program. So the first three statements are import statements here in which we are importing AWT package of Java and the action event class and action list listener interface. So these are three imported section which uh, will help uh, which will help us to make our calculator. Now we are making a class named as calculator demo which is extending the frame class and implementing an action listener interface. Inside this class first we are defining three uh, we are defining some variables so first, uh, first three variables are l1 l2 and l3 which are of type label so the objects of label class help us to uh, sh uh, display a single state uh, single line read statement inside a frame so we will be using three these three variables to display the content uh, display the labels inside our frame next three variables that is t1 t2 t3 are of type text field so text field class object help us to provide the text field area so that user can provide input in, inside it so we are using three text fields so first two text field we will use to uh, uh, to allow the user to in, uh, put an in input inside that and uh, inside t3 we will show the result next six uh, b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 are the button type variables so as its name already shows that uh, it help us to define the button inside the frame so these are the variables now we are uh, we have defined a constructor for our class so we are defining some variables here so first l1 l2 l3 variables here these are the objects of type lab label and label values are number one number two and result then we are uh, making objects of text field class so t1 t2 t3 then we are making the object of button class with the heading add sub, uh, sub, uh, sub for subtraction multi for multiplication div for division uh, reset and close so reset button will help us to reset all the values of text fields and the close button will help to close the calculator now we are we have used some add method here so this add methods are of this frame class so this add, add method help us to put objects inside a frame. So we are putting all our these objects that is labels, text fields and button inside our frame. Then we are setting the size of our frame that is 200 and 200 that is length and breadth. Then we are setting the title for our frame that is calculator. Then we are setting the layout. After this we are making uh, some uh, we are making some callbacks for our buttons. So what this callback method that is add action listener method does is it calls the method action performed and pass the source of the uh, and pass the source that is b1, b2, b3, b4, b5, 6 and this source we can catch here inside the AE argument. So whenever a button will be triggered by us this method will get called. So let's understand this method what is happening here so inside this method we have defined three variables a b and c of type double which are setting to be zero initially then we have two try cache block here inside each try cache block we are taking the text data of text field and storing it in our variable so inside first try block we are taking the text value of t1 text field and and passing it in, into the double type and storing it in a if the value is not of type number then we are throwing the exception here that is invalid input 
same for the b that is for another text field we are uh, taking the text and passing it inside into the double type and storing it inside the b variable and if the text is not a number then we are throwing a exception so this is how we are taking the text value that is entered by a user inside two variables that is a and b now whenever a button triggers if the source is b1 that is button 1 then we are adding the values if the source is b2 then we are subtracting if the source is b3 then we are multiplying and if the source is b4 then we are dividing so here are the four button function then if the source is b5 then we are setting uh, we are we are resetting the values actually to the zero so all the text three text fields will get to zero and if the b6 button if the source is b6 means user has, has pressed the b6 button then we are closing our calculator so this is how our business logic of calculator is now at the end we are defining the main method that's public static void man inside which we are making the object of our business logic math, uh, class that is calculator demo we are setting the object uh, visibility to true so that our frame will be visible then we are setting the location where exactly this calculator should be shown on our window so it will be shown on 300 300 pixel so this is all about our code let's execute this code let's make a file with the name of our class that is calculator demo dot java let's save it first we need to compile it using the java c option and uh, java c command we are giving our uh, program file that is calculator demo dot java so here our program is got compiled yes so here is a dot class file now we will be running our code So yeah, here our calculator has appeared. So this is the frame. The frame title is calculator, and this number one, number two, number uh, number no, number one, number two, and result are labels. These three are text fields, and these three are buttons. So let's add some values and add it. Yeah, so the result is twenty four. Means our calculator is functioning properly. Let's close it. So here is how we have made calculator program in Java. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Keep learning, keep sharing.